Hey guys, it's Kamaya Tarpley again. Um, this week we're doing another book review. And so I accidentally read this book. Okay. <laughs> this is One Hundo and 10% an Accident. It was it's a young adult like um thriller, I guess. It I I accidentally read like cuz I thought it was cool sounding and stuff cuz like okay. Title is The League of Freaks and The Secret Key by Alberto Hazan. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there were clues that this is young adult. I really wasn't sure when I picked it up at the store, but it wasn't in a young adult section. So I was like, okay, maybe it's not. Um, this is why it's very important librarians to put things where they belong. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try and review this like a young adult novel and I'm going to try really not to be harsh on it because there's so many things where I was just like, but... <laughs> But I'm a grown woman reading a young adult novel, my bad. So I gotta, you know, kind of chill on it. Anyway, it's about this girl named Shri. Um, her and her family uh, move. She starts going to this new school, to high school. Um, she doesn't really fit in. Um, she is of Indian heritage, which, you know, I always love a lead person of color. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I was like, that's cool. Um, but she doesn't really fit in. Everyone keeps calling her Shri the Bumblebee, and I was just like, like, what a childish name. When I was in high school, it was pretty much like the B word, the C word, the D word, everything. <laughs> but then again, we're really advanced at my high school, okay? The girls were wearing stilettos, and the guys were doing coke, so. <laughs> uh, but not in this book. The high schoolers are much more tame. <laughs> um, so she's getting picked on, whatever, and she feels like, there's just things about her changing. Um, like she can smell things more. She's developing more of a taste for like honey and stuff. Um, and then she realizes after like a short while, like she can turn into a bee. So we didn't think about it. The name they were kind of teasing her for really wasn't off its mark. Okay, it wasn't wrong. They weren't wrong. <laughs> she is a bee. So she turns into a bee, does like her special ability and somehow her and like, these other kids with special abilities, which I was just like, <laughs> their abilities are, uh, they're adorable because it's young adult. They're adorable. Um, one can just stretch her body. Um, really, she's like the most useful one. The rest of them are all just dead weight. Uh, the other, <laughs> another one has x-ray vision. Um, another one has amazing hearing skills. And then also, he can do that thing like how in that Family Guy episode, Ben Stiller flew in was like, I heard what you said about me, Peter. Yeah, he can, like, stretch his ears to, like, fly and stuff. And, like, the other one can turn into a whale. Don't ask me about the mechanics. I don't have the answer for you. <laughs> but, yeah, he can turn into a whale. It's like, okay, I guess. Um, so, yeah, they pretty much all get together and they um, have a mission uh, to find some treasure, some hidden treasure. Um, unfortunately, the boys at their school, uh, who they call the demons, which I was like, dang, that's extreme. <laughs> they actually find out about it, um, too. And they kind of almost like use the smart, talented kids to like get to the treasure, too. And here's what irritated me. OK, I'm not like, OK, whatever. It's young adult. But these kids have special abilities and use them very lim limited amounts of times when they're being picked on. Like, if I was that B, trust me, you would have been getting stung when you slept, when you ate, when you walked, when you breathed. Because <laughs> you're not going to stay here and call me all sorts of names, okay, and then just walk around free. I think not, okay? I think not. So I, that's the only real problem I had. I felt like the kids didn't really defend themselves as much as they should. Like, I think it's really important to defend yourself if you're being picked on. I don't care how old you are. I don't care who it is. If you're being picked on, defend yourself because no one else is going to, okay? Unless it's I'm around because I'll defend you. <laughs> Everyone knows I love a fight verbal, okay? I, I cannot physically fight. If it turns to that, then you're on your own. I'm sorry. But I'll chant for you. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's, it's a book actually that I would absolutely like my 16-year-old brother to read. Well, he's not 16 yet, but we're rounding, Okay. Um, yeah, he can definitely read this because it's not anything like crazy extreme. Uh, they don't use any like foul language or anything like that. There's nothing graphic. Uh, so this is actually a really excellent book for younger kids and stuff. So 
definitely if you have some young like you know teenagers and ones that aren't fast <laughs> Um, teenagers who are not like the ones I went to school with, again, doing coke, drinking beers, drinking beers, 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 uh, <laughs> then they'll actually like this book. And it's a good length, you know, 200 something pages. It's, it's definitely worth a read. So check it out, guys. That's all I have for you today. Um, and I have a super special, amazing announcement coming out later this week. So stay tuned. All right, I gotta go to bed. Bye. <laughs>